Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Danielle Cam Carter. Wow. <laughs> what an amazing honor to be here tonight with all of you. Thank you to the board members for nominating me and for voting for me. This is truly an honor. I was such a fearless kid. Some days when adulting sets in, for example, public speaking, I have to remind myself about that fearlessness. One of my earliest childhood memories was when we were celebrating my younger brother Sean's first birthday in our backyard. And I was six at the time, and we grew up in Reese in a neighborhood full of kids. And speaking of football, my older brother and all of the boys were across the yard playing football. And I wanted to play so bad. And one of the boys told me, no, you can't play. And I came running home in tears. I came running home to my dad. And I thought in my head, I'm going to tell my dad on you, and he's going to force you to let me play. And to my surprise, he looked at me, and he said, good. You aren't playing. You'll get hurt. <laughs> and I was devastated. I didn't know what getting hurt meant, and I couldn't comprehend not being able to play. Well, eventually, they let me play football with them, amongst every other sport, from basketball to south softball to volleyball to you name it, to pond hockey. If it was a sport, I was there. And to this day, I contribute my toughness to my brothers and those neighborhood kids who let this little tomboy tag along. At the age of 10, I had an amazing opportunity to join the Mid-Michigan Cagers AAU basketball team and play for Coach Steve Saltz. And that man has still the discipline and the work ethic in us that has carried me throughout my life of success in sports and in my working career today. He also taught us how to prepare to win. And we worked hard, and as a team, we won the national championship when we were 12 years old. And my AAU success did not end there, as I had the privilege of playing for many amazing coaches, such as Ann Lowney and Lee Peifel. And from there, I had the fortunate opportunity to attend Nouvelle and continue my basketball career and play softball and volleyball. From the beginning, with not knowing many people, the welcoming from the families and the community support that my family and I continue to receive to this day is something words cannot express for how grateful I am. I have an incredible amount of people throughout my journey to thank, but I only have five minutes. <laughs> so just because I can't personally mention everybody tonight, please know that I think about you and I think about what you have done for me often, and I am forever grateful. I was also able to continue growing as a player at Nouvelle with the amazing coaches that I had, such as Dave Simonowski, Nick Alfano, Coach Chris Johnson, Coach Shar Palmer in softball. And I also learned a lot about volleyball from Coach Beckman. And they say to be the best, you have to play the best. And the awesome thing about Saginaw County is not only did I have the opportunity to play against the best players and coaches, but I was fortunate to play with and learn from the best my whole life. I got to grow up winning a national championship with Katrina Grantham, Lisa Collison, and Katie Potter. I got to play with Ashley Matuzak and Carly Leroy at Nouvelle and play softball with Shannon Butterfield, one of the greatest pitchers from our era, along with many more amazing teammates. I have lifelong friendships because of athletics and the teams I was fortunate enough to be a part of. I got to continue this success by playing basketball for Marquette and for Coach Terry Mitchell. And I got to play alongside one of my best friends, Carolyn Keeger, who has since taken over the reins as head coach for Marquette. And all of this has been a part of molding me into who I am today and contributes to the success I have had in my continued career growth and throughout my life. I also want to thank my husband, Jesse Carter, for being an amazing man, for putting up with my competitiveness, and most importantly, for help supporting me and helping me to continue to grow as a person every day and for being all right with me wearing heels. <laughs> <laughs> and last and not least by any means, I wanna say thank you to my parents and my brothers. If it wasn't for my mom and my dad, I would not be here today and I would not be the person that I am today. 
You two have truly made incredible sacrifices and took me across the nation for all of my athletic and life experiences. Thank you both. Thank you to my brothers Rich and Sean for the sacrifices you made to attend all my sporting events and for being there to support and mentor me every step of the way. Speaking of sacrifices to attend my events, I also would like to thank my big brother Rich a very happy birthday today. <laughs> and thank you to you and your wife Stephanie for choosing to spend it here this evening with us. <laughs> In closing, I am so very grateful and humbled to be a part of this year's class of inductees into the Saginaw County Hall of Fame. And I would like to give a very special thank you to a group of heroes from Saginaw. Four years ago, my father collapsed at work and suffered a massive heart attack and he would not have survived had it not been for the heroic efforts of his co-workers in the warranty division at Morley who performed CPR and also to the paramedics and to the medical staff at Covenant Hospital who provided life-saving care to bring him back to health. If it wasn't for you, he would not be here with us tonight to celebrate this amazing honor. Talk about true heroes. Thank you.